Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Very good mood today. It's just been a good day. I'll tell you a little bit about it. But I uh, am going out tonight, and right now it's 4.30. I have time to record a little bit, so I thought I would do that. I've had it on my schedule that I want to record three to four times per week. So far I've not hit the four mark. It's usually three. But I'm, you know, I'm happy with that considering all the other stuff that I do, that I put on my plate, and then I get depressed because I can't do everything I want to do. Um, I put a lot on my plate, including meat. <laughs> Today will be my third video this week, so I still have tomorrow, which is Sunday, and I thought, maybe I can do a video both days. Anyway, I'm just in a good mood, so when I'm in a good mood, it's a good time for me to record, because I'm not crying or sad or anything. I haven't done a crying video in a long time, have I? Well, maybe not too long ago. Uh, okay, Joe is gone for a walk. He wants to walk for exercise. And he doesn't usually go with me when I take the dog for a walk. I could say his name, right? I don't want him to get excited if he hears me say his name because <laughs> he's here and he doesn't understand why Daddy is gone uh, outside all alone and didn't take him with him. Uh, he doesn't usually walk with me when I walk Rocket, like for my brisk walk, because I walk fast. And Joe can be a little unsteady, especially with his diabetes. We just never know. He suffers from vertigo. There's just a lot of things. So he likes to walk on his own with the dog and at his own pace. But now he thought he might go into a store on his walk. So he didn't take Rocket because Rocket's not allowed in all the stores. And uh, he has his phone, and I said at any time, if you need for me to come and get you, if you're too tired after your walk, I will go pick him up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here waiting to see if he calls. And um, he's a grown man. I think he can handle taking a walk all by himself. <laughs> and, yeah, so Joe and I had a, a good day. Uh, we started out. Uh, I hated to say to him, you want to go to a meeting at noon? I mean, I like the meetings. I don't want to go every day. I don't want to wear out my welcome. <laughs> so far, I really like the people in this group, and I do talk sometimes. And, you know, I just, I'm having a really good time with the group, and it's just amazing to me uh, that I never had people like that who shared my experiences and that we could just talk about it so casually without being judged and even with a sense of humor and you know so I really really like it's just a nice little ride it's about 15 minutes each way we get out Joe and I always talk about the meeting topic all the way home so we get to know each other better and everything's good about those meetings but then sometimes I'm afraid that if I say, can we go to a meeting, that he's just going to go because he thinks I want to go. I mean, we don't both always, you know, want to go. We're not always in the mood to go to a meeting. And he feels the same way sometimes. He's afraid that I'll just say yes because I want to do that for him because he goes out with me when we go out. We're going out tonight. Did I mention that? We are. Uh, so this morning, neither one of us said anything, and I kind of wanted to bring it up, and then he ended up bringing it up. He said, how would, how would you feel about a meeting? He goes, I, you don't have to say yes. He goes, I just, I wanted to ask, but he goes, I'm afraid to ask because I don't want you to feel forced. And I said, I felt the same way, so we were so happy that we both wanted to go, and neither one of us wanted to put it on the other person, you know, put pressure on going. So we went, and, um, and then we came home, had lunch, and uh, fed the dog, and we all eat together. <laughs> Rocket eats out of a dinner plate now on the bed. We, I always have the bed made. Joe made the bed today. And um, we sit in the living room, and the dog gets a dinner plate on a special blanket in case he spills anything uh, so it doesn't get on the bedspread. And we all had lunch, and then uh, Joe has been talking about, um, well, I have been talking about, asking, I have asked him if he could help me on fabric, if we could work together, because I love my fabric business. I loved it even when I let it go, but at the time I was so excited about my new life of going out, going dancing, things like that, 
that I put it on the back burner and I could never alone now do the amount of cutting and selling that I was doing then. That's when I still had my mother and I barely did anything else. So I had plenty of time. I don't want to go back to that. I like to hang on. That wasn't Joe, but then Joe called right after I texted back my friend uh, about our plans for tonight. And so um, I'm going to be picking Joe up shortly. So I'm going to just finish this. Yeah, so uh, where did I leave off? I just edited and I still don't know where I left off. Oh yeah, I was telling you about I never would be able to uh, have the business, the fabric business that I had when I had no life at all. And I wouldn't want that. I don't want to stop the life that I'm living right now. I'm, I'm having a very good time. And I'm in such a good balance right now of staying home and doing things with Joe or just going places with Joe. And, um, you know, now a nice night out is going to a play or watching Sk uh, Skylar in her choir. You know, and I'm content. I'm content to do that and come home. I don't feel like I missed out because I didn't go dancing. And then we do go out. I'm going to be dancing tonight. And so it's just all good. But it takes a lot of time to go out and have a life. And that doesn't leave me enough time for fabric. So I told him, because he's a roofer, and right now he's having an issue with a title for his van. So he doesn't have his van. So that's supposed to be, it was supposed to be resolved. But oh my God, the customer service we've been getting through this whole ordeal. I don't even want to think about it. It's, it's eventually going to be... Okay, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just a long story, but right now he doesn't have his van to go um, to the job sites, and he doesn't do the actual roofing now because of his diabetes, but he has um, a crew, that, uh, like a, a lot of people, that he can put together a crew anytime. So he likes to make cold calls, get the jobs, hire his crew, sends them there. He's a general contractor for roofing. And so in the meantime, I was like, would you like to um, maybe help me with fabric? And he's like all on board. And I even only thought about that because he asked me if I could teach him how to sew out of the blue. He likes the fabric I get. He's like, oh, this is really nice. So I could tell, and he's, you know, crafty in a way. Not that I ever see him do crafting, but to me, when I hear him talk about roofing and he understands all these things and then, you know, I, he just likes, he just likes, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I get from the way he talks, even just about roofing and the construction of houses and different ideas he has and stuff, I can tell that he's a, a crafty guy and the way he compliments crafts that I might do or the fabric that I buy and the things that I can make and stuff like that. So I passed it by him, and he said yes, that he would love to work with fabric, as I have expressed to him that I would love to know more about the roofing business and help him when I can. Like I told him, while you you don't have your van, he bought a title, uh, a van with um, with no title, and so he had to go through the process of getting a bonded title. So that's why, and he had like 90 or 60 days that he could ride the van. And then when he moved here, they extended it. And so, but now he's, he's run out of time. So he is without a van. He does not want to drive my car. He did once and he didn't like it. He's like, I don't see good out of this one. <laughs> so I told him, I said, I can ride you around to do cold calls, but... We've never done that because either the weather is bad or on the, you know, the days that he, maybe he'd like to go, it's like I'm really busy with the fabric. So I said, how about um, you could help me? So today was the first time that he helped me with fabric. I ordered all those Christmas prints knowing that I would have him to help um, when I cut, that he can pull the fabric from uh, my cutting mat and sort and stack. And I had Skylar who helped me for a few years in Maine when she would come in the summer. I would plan bigger sales around the time that she was going to be with me because we would sit and she loved that. She loved helping me with the cutting of the fabric. She loved helping me with the sales, the packaging, all that stuff. So I know it's very helpful when I have help. And I told Joe, if you can help, then I'll be able to sell more. And so we just are excited about that. And it just, 
it blows my mind that I'm with a man who enjoys the fabric and talks about it when we're at meetings, you know, about my business. I mean, he's a salesman, that guy. He's like, give me some business cards and I'll get you a lot of customers. And I believe he would. So I said, I can't have more customers until I have help. So you can't even tell I'm, I'm just in a good mood. I, I think it's apparent. I'm just, yeah, things have been going really nice and it's, it's, uh, it feels good. So today I'll show you, I'll show you what he helped me with. Where? Hang on. So this is minor. I just wanted him to uh, sit with me at my fabric table while I cut so I could show him a little bit of what it is that I do. So I told him I'd be cutting some five inch squares. It is uh, six different colors and it's a cool pattern. It's called paint. And I had my fabric there. I showed him like what I have to do to press the fabric to you know make the selvages even and all this stuff and then I put it down and when I cut a strip I'm like you pull the strip out from under my cutter because then I don't have to put my rotary cutter down put the strip aside do the next one because I like to uh, make sure that my strip has been cut all the way through before I lift my ruler and so he did that, and I was like, oh my god, I remember now how helpful this was. And so I cut all the the prints and into strips, and then I showed him how I take the strips, and then now I cut into squares, and he did the same thing. As I was cutting, he would pull the squares, stack them, and um, make the little packets, and uh, yeah, so it was helpful. But now that I have this, let me tell you, this is going to be in my sale Monday. Let me go get my book. This is a flash sale item, so it will uh, be at the $5 level for my exclusive shoppers. And, oh good God, I don't have the price there yet, but I will know by looking at another one. So this is 36. There's six each of six different prints. And I have two different mini quilt tutorials, a rag one and then another different one that you just need the 36 squares so I sell a lot of the 36 square packets flash sale 11 bucks free shipping eBay if it goes to eBay it's going to be 1275 still free shipping so that's that for that and so we made stacks of those and then since I already had those yarded the yardage for those prints um, out I went ahead and also cut uh, two inch strips to make the two inch squares. And so there's 20 of each color, focus please. And same thing, he would pull the strips out from under me as I cut, and then I would cut the two inch strips into squares and he would take the squares, stack them, and he enjoyed that. I absolutely enjoyed that. And now I don't feel so guilty when I'm in that room working and he's just watching TV because I know he likes to just go, 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 go out, do stuff. And this way, with him sitting with me, we got to talk and chat and he was very interested in what we were doing. And I told him, once you understand some of the stuff, you know, the way I do things, I know he's going to have ideas. He'll be like, how about you get these and, you know, let's do this with these prints. I mean, I just know that's how he's going to be. And I'm just thrilled. That's why I'm in such a good mood. So this was minor. It was just, again, to let him sit at the table with me and so we could get started because I'm going to need his help for those Christmas prints. And, um, and then other, I, I, I've got a lot of yardage now. I've been stocking up on yardage because I'm hopeful that he will, you know, enjoy doing this with me and we're going to give it a try. So that's, that's how we spent the day so far. And now he's gone for a walk. He's going to be calling me very soon, as soon as he wants me to go get him. And we're going out tonight and hanging out with some of my friends. We went out last night to see Derek play at Gold Strike Casino in Tunica. Rocket, no bark. Rocket. bothering the neighbors <laughs> anyway Derek was playing at Gold Strike Casino in Tunica and Joe and I went 
and we got there a little early. They started at six, and it was going to be an old country band. Derek is now like in this thing that they have at the casinos where they just build bands by, you know, what players they need. They needed a bass player for three nights, so Derek played with that. Uh, you have to be, you know, a musician who knows certain songs. You can write what you know and give them that, so they'll pick you if they know this band plays mostly this stuff or whatever. He didn't really know the songs, so he had to learn some new songs, and it was country, and Derek's so tired of country. He, he played a lot of country. But Joe loved the music, the songs, and Derek's girlfriend, LaShawn, was there. And if you know Elevation, Elevation Memphis is their Facebook page. LaShawn is a singer. as a Derek's girlfriend. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying that yet. Um, I think they're pretty open with their relationship now. They just kept it quiet a little bit because they're in a band together and stuff. But yeah, so I uh, absolutely loved LaShawn. Very, very happy for them. And so we got to hang out with LaShawn. And then Derek had another friend from Nashville who came down. So it was nice. We only stayed a couple of hours and we left and came home and watched Project Runway together. Joe even likes the kind of shows that I watch. He never heard of Project Runway, he never heard of Survivor. And now I have him addicted to Survivor. But I started watching Project Runway. I'm like, do you mind if I put this on just while we're eating? Then you can have the TV for whatever. And so he started watching it. And now he's like addicted totally. <laughs> and uh, so I just, I like that too. I could go on and on today. But I'm in that good of a mood. I hope it lasts. The good moods have been lasting longer and longer. It's not that they don't last, it's that sometimes, you know, yesterday I was grumpy, I didn't sleep well, and, you know, it just, uh, but we ended up going out last night and having a good time, and then coming home and watching Project Runway, you know, so I'm, I'm just very pleased with um, not only my willingness now to work hard at being happy you know it takes a little work sometimes when you haven't had a life in forever and you don't even know how to be an adult most of the time and i've been working on it and the awesome people at aa uh, are so helpful with just life they're helpful with life in general you know not having to really do anything with drinking and it's just so helpful to me and encouraging and I feel like I belong there and it's nice to have a little group. I do worry about um, losing that feeling because it doesn't take much with me. There's people outside. It doesn't take much with me um, if I start to get a little bit of bad vibes that I'll want to back away from that but right now I don't want to back away from it so I'm going to stay with it and I'm not going to worry if my mood changes and I no longer like it we find another group or we don't go or I don't go I'm tired of planning ahead how miserable I'm going to be later <laughs> just going to say to myself maybe just maybe I won't be miserable and if I am, that's okay. I can just switch it up and try something else. Okay? So that's, that's how I'm going to handle, hopefully, the rest of my life. Do what I can. When it feels good, do more of that. When it stops feeling good, find something else to do. Until I die. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. Oh. I forgot to tell you the prices of the squares. Let me do that real quick. Where's my book? There's 120 in here. There's six colors. There's 20 of each. And for the flash sale, these are going to be in the flash sale. Did I say that already? Both of these things are in the flash sale. They're not in the bulk savings. These are the ones, five bucks a month, that you can get in and have these sale items. Flash sale price is $8.50 and... On eBay, it'll be $9.75. So you can certainly wait. Now, some of the things uh, are a bigger savings than that, and you're much better off to join the flash sales, um, you know, instead of just waiting for eBay. But you're welcome to wait for eBay, too. Either way, these sell out, and these two. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.